Yo, bros, what's poppin'? Um, holy shit, this video went away. I have a lot of editing to do. I've already edited all the interviews that are gonna be those videos. The Foxy interview, the Hoshi interview, the, uh, who are the other interviewers? I don't know. I can't think of it. I'm really tired right now, so. But, um, yeah, this is gonna be a blast of a fucking video. Uh, there's some important things that need to be addressed in this video, uh, regarding submitters, because I personally think that this video to, to deserve to be made. Um, but, uh, yeah. If you guys don't mind, uh, give this video a like and sub if you haven't, and join the Discord. I don't say that in my other videos, but I want you to do it for this video, and we can maybe get some changes in this community, because what's been going on is not okay. And I mean that, like, from the bottom of my heart. Dude, what is going on? I think I lost one of the, the strings inside of my pants. Okay, well, that doesn't matter. Um, okay, so, how do I put this? Basically, I decided to address some people stealing submissions uh which is whatsoever not okay um i think that it's just genuinely wrong for people to steal items in general but they're also data mining and not only data mining and stealing submissions they're also selling this so that's completely wrong there is no good way to put that at all like i'm sorry but i just don't support that and that's coming from a modded haven dev myself i have been making time machine i've probably spent maybe 5,000 hours making it. No, I'm not gonna link it. I'm not trying to advertise. It it makes me feel shamed for being part of the modding community. Now, when it, when it comes to, you know, being a modder, I think of it as you're gonna take the open source and you're gonna, you, you're gonna, you're gonna work off of it. You're not gonna work with it. You're gonna work off of it. So you, you're gonna, you're, you're taking a game and you're expanding off of it. So think of making a DLC. Uh, to make a good DLC, you're not just going to sell, like, a piece of armor for $5 on, like, I don't know, CSGO or whatever. I, I don't know. Um, what, what you do is, um, what you do is, uh, you, you want to add more missions to the game or something. Like, you, you want to add more content for there to be. Now, in Minor Saving, I get really all you can do is add, uh, uh, items. That's, that's really all you can do. But people are doing that in very unoriginal ways. They're doing it the way that was done in back, like, 2017. Uh, even the way I did it back then, when those modded havens kept getting banned because submissions were being stolen and because Bird didn't like modded havens. Now, those games were getting banned. They were getting banned left and right, and submissions were constantly being stolen because that was an actual issue that never really needed to be an issue. Until open source, now builders constantly have to fear, oh my god, my jaw hurts from talking. Uh, builders constantly have to worry that their shit's gonna get stolen. Now, they should not have to worry about that, dude. Like, whatsoever, they should never, ever have to worry about that. It's, it's just not what they should have to worry about, dude. Like, I'm sorry, but it's just not. Um... Personally, I think that submitters should at most have to worry maybe that their item is not going to get in the game. But that's not even that big of a deal. I think more or less, this whole, this, this whole situation is stupid. Submitters, um, submitters shouldn't really be worrying about all this. Uh, they should be... Dude, I'm just struggling to get words out. I'm sorry. Submitters should not have to focus on the modders submitters are submitters they should be busy building they should not be focusing on what us modders are doing because we shouldn't be fucking up their submissions now that's all on our fault i'm not trying to like make it look like they're focusing too hard on us because it's their work like the submitters are doing their job and they don't get paid they don't get paid for what they're doing they're putting up with your crap for free and they're still making items for this game, so you guys could be satisfied. And you're just going and taking their items without permission. That's wrong. But let alone the people selling these for real cash. That's a big issue. It's it, it should be against TOS, in my opinion. You shouldn't just be able to do that. But there's not a whole lot of, you know, things you could do uh, to prevent that. 
This is how Roblox works. It'd get really fucking confusing. Okay. Now, I don't think that people should be making fake accounts that are made to look like submitters accounts and just go take all these items and sell them for cash. That's not how it works. Like, there was one called Joseph Stuff to mock Joseph Stuff. So I think you can see it's pretty hard to fucking tell sometimes. Now, my best bet is if you are a builder, go make some alts that have uh, familiar names or like similar names to yours so uh, people can't go nab those uh, fucking names from you. Just do it yourself. Um, but... How do I put that? You, I'm too tired for this. I'm sorry. Um, I, I've been... This is like my second take because I think that I could have, you know, done a little bit better. So, all in all though, dude, it's like... It, what the community is doing is just wrong. And it, it makes me feel like I'm, I'm put to shame for being a modder. If you, it feels like I should just quit making money to save in mods because this is starting to be the general the generalization of modders. I think of a good modder as someone who takes the game and makes it so where when you click on the game you don't immediately think holy shit this is uh this is just an overpowered miner saving or this is just stolen miner saving subs or this is just the open source miner saving with nothing new in it. Uh, because I see that a lot. I've literally seen, like, Monday Davids with cool names and cool thumbnails and stuff. But there's literally nothing new. Like, it's the exact same open source. They haven't added a single custom item. And that's, like, legitimately what, like, half of them are. Why? Because the rules, first of all, were very vague. Brezza, I highly recommend you go back and redo those, those rules. I, I got confused, like, half of the time. But... I, I just think this, people shouldn't just uh, let their items get taken away, especially if they don't want it to. It's like, Brezza, take this for instance. Now, let's just say you added a submission system for Vistaria, so like people could submit like wands or something, I don't know. And someone submits a wand and someone tries to yoink it and go work with it, but the, the guy who made it didn't want it uh being yoinked because it's their work it's the same system here um there's really no ifs or do's or don'ts or buts or anything for that it's just how it just rules if you if someone doesn't want anyone else fuck up with their shit nobody fucks with their shit that's how it goes now i get there's not a whole lot you could do about it it's really hard to track this stuff right so um that's why I suggest readjusting the rules or just don't allow open sources. Open source was a good idea, executed horribly. That's just my take on it. I think it was executed way worse than it could have been. And there's just so many issues that are wrong with it. Now these are fixable issues, but they're not gonna be fixable if you're not gonna do anything to fix them. It's straight up has to just, you have to put some time and effort into this and it, the community would be so much more pleased. Now, I'm not saying you did anything wrong, but I'm not saying the community is very fond of what you're doing about it. Um, like, I've, I've talked to Talon, I've talked to Foxy, and they both said the same things. So this isn't, like, a personal attack or anything. But, um, like, coming from a modder, I love that you're focusing on our interests and stuff. I really do, but I think it's more important that you focus on the interest of the actual game. Uh, this game's been going on for five years now, and I think it's a necessity that this game stays intact. Its community is getting really toxic, and its community is getting really bad. Uh, I'm just gonna say that now. I'm not very fond of what the community has done uh, lately. The fact we've needed shout mods is not a good example of uh, a community, but, you know, it is what it is. It's community. Oh my jaw! Okay. Dude, my jaw is killing me right now. Um, I, I just think... I just think some things need to be addressed. Also, there's uh, a guy called Magical V, aka Da Diamond. Uh, he sent me some DMs, and I just kind of wanted to talk about them, so we're gonna go do that real quick. Um, so he said, "Hi, I'm a Miner Haven submitter, uh, and I heard that you were planning to make a video explaining the whole situation, uh, the whole submission situation, and uh, to help our voices should be heard." 
Yes, that's exactly what I want. In fact, all the submitters, please come DM me. Uh, I, I want your thoughts on uh, this whole situation, and I might even make a part three if I get the time. I'd love to interview more people. He said, It's really unmotivating to, con to continue subbing when people like me and other submitters, whether they have already made an item in game or not, when you spend hours or even days on a submission, some people spend weeks trying to brush up or remake an item. And you don't even know who takes it with an unknown intention. It could be that they're trying to put it in their modded haven without any permission or credit. It could be that they're trying to submit parts of it to uh, miner's haven with bases uh, scrapped off or off of uh, other submissions. It could be, uh, or worst of all, it could be someone is selling it to someone else for real money. These are just some issues that really need to be fixed. Uh, also, as it seems that uh, what he sent me, apparently a lot of these builders are getting shit-talked privately too. Um, but it's just, oh my god. This one guy, um, I'm not going to listen to any names, but he said, Submitters are always thinking they know, they 100% know everything. Try some more, not not our fault you literally put it on sale uh but it just destroyer uh destroyer's back said you think foxy is a machine that takes everything it gets its hands on no we make these items so and y'all take them half the time with no permission or credit and put it in your game so you can be relevant um It's just like, this is just wrong, dude. They shouldn't be treating submitters like shit. And they are. Um, now, Brezza, this is 100% your fault. Uh, like, this isn't a personal attack. You've helped me a lot. And that's that. But, dude, like, I think majority rules here. Like, there's only so many big submitter or modders uh, out there. It... There's a lot more submitters, dude. Like, I think that their opinion really out, like, outplays these, uh, these modders. Like, genuinely. I'd, I'd be willing to have my game taken down in order for these open sources to just stop doing what they're doing. Um, but this is, this is a bigger issue than it might appear, uh, to the blind eye. Uh, most of you that don't really care too much about the miner saving community... Uh, this is the biggest issue for the U then, uh, but I do care about the community. I, I really do, and I just want the best for it, and I'm just trying to get some things changed. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is, dude. Um, I hope uh, the rest of this video covers some things that you didn't know, but love you all. Alright, hey guys, uh, I just got done interviewing Foxy over DMs. Um, and the first question I asked him was, what's your take on modded havens? His response was, I preferred that Brezza didn't open source the game knowing that there would be problems, but with it intended uh, as a learning experience, then it's okay so long as it's limited to just that. Then I asked, what do you feel are the do's and don'ts for MH mod developers on making a good modded haven and using the open source the way intended? He said, cooperation, respect, and asking submitters permission, I feel, is a necessity. Now, it ignores disrespect and treating submitters like shit. Then I asked, what's your take on modded haven devs stealing subs without asking or after uh, their, requests get, or their requests get rejected by the submitters? And he said, where's the call submitters who private their submission? Uh, they're spitting in the face of miners haven submissions. Submitters should have a say in what modded havens use their items. They are people, not, they are not to be treated like objects. Modded Havens should ask for permission or learn how to build themselves. After all, this is a learning experience for developers. They should act like developers too and learn to act, uh, ask for permission or commission people. I actually strongly agree with that one, to be honest. Um, I ask, do you think Modded Havens should still exist or get can, uh, canceled off completely? He said, at this point, no. I don't think Modded Havens should exist anymore. Preza has failed to manage them and doesn't do anything when they are violating the, viol violating the license or pissing tons of people off. It's like telling someone without a license to drive across town. You're putting someone in a situation where they are not experienced in and expect them to learn the fundamentals on the spot. In this case, Preza is trying to get people to learn how to develop from a game which has 
a pretty messy code and expect them to learn it uh, and understand all of it and become developers. While in reality, most modded, modded havens are crashing because they lack proper experience in every way of being a developer. They are only being told how to code, nothing else. That is honestly pretty fair. I'll be real. He said, or I said, uh, do you support submitters helping these modded haven devs if it's done with the right permission? Uh, he said, submitters can help modded havens if they choose, that is their choice. Um, Last question I asked him was, how do you feel about bots selling these items in mass? He said, bots in general shouldn't even be allowed. The, uh, the bots are targeting submitters and taking their items against their will. This honestly should be against Roblox TOS and they shouldn't even be defended under any circumstance. It is toxic, immature, and is practically forcing submitters against their will to put up with that bullshit. Uh, the problem isn't that it's happening. The problem is Brezza fails to acknowledge and do something about it. All right, I just wanted to let you guys know uh, that's all Foxy pretty much had to say. Uh, I did ask him something earlier. This was at like midnight. Um, I said, I'd like your stand standpoint on the submission stealing issue. I'm making a part two acknowledging that and want the thoughts of you and submitters. He said, I think Modded Haven should be asking for permission from submitters to use their items. Al almost every submitter makes the items with the expectation they are making it for Miner's Haven, not the open source. Brezza never addressed submitters saying their items are free to use for Modded Haven or Modded Havens. Uh, I do not believe this was said in the document regarding the open source. He's told me submissions are free to use. What? However, I go against this because I feel as a developer, it's extremely scummy to ignore the wishes of submitters. Most submitters do not want their items being used in modded havens and try to make their inventory privated to prevent this. However, you have people making bots to target sub uh, specific submitters to, ta to, make, to take all of them uh, and their items despite being privated. These people know submitters don't want their items being used by modded havens, and we have people going against that they only want for the interest of uh, their modded haven. So it's a big fuck you to submitters go, uh, that are being ignored. Some of them have been wanting around, uh, some of them have been around since the beginning. Tell and I were both submitters as well before we took over. So our experience with submitters, it's even harder to watch this be because if we aren't developing, we'd be in the same issue as well. Uh, I feel Bereza needs to stop defending every action that modded havens take and start focusing on what really matters about miners haven. Modded Havens do not keep the game alive. The submitters who somehow still have the patience to deal with this bullshit are what keeps the game alive. We wouldn't be able to up the game without them, uh, update the game without them. I've only ever seen people in my servers complain about Modded Havens and seeing what a lot of them do, I don't blame them. I feel Bereza gives too much, uh, I feel Bereza invests too much time into thinking the best interest is from Modded Haven devs. And honestly, that seems pretty disrespectful. Take this in perspective, Brezza defended Miner's Haven Plus every single time Talon and I brought up problems we had and the community we had. Uh, they they were accused of data mined assets, um, which is proven the first time, but this has been removed. The second time around, I had the same suspicion. However, they did use different thumbnails and I and did get the free model versions. However, they also decided to copy my descriptions exactly, which was still suspicious. Another issue I've recently uh, heard or i've only recently heard is that minor Haven plus at one point uh at one time ended up stealing submissions that wasn't even for minor Haven submissions that were made for m uh max minor Haven plus does not work to solve these issues but it's only because community pressure it's never done because brother brezza said uh said otherwise this entire time i do not I have not seen him ever done anything about a modded haven violating a license or breaking Roblox TOS. The problem now is that modded havens do these things. The problem is Barosa doesn't do anything about it. Alrighty, uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to share with you guys regarding this. Right, two uh, decently known, I know Dirty is more uh, known uh, in the submitting thing, but kind of, Pug, you're newer to submitting, correct? Yeah. Well, either way, uh, I think your guys' opinion should be put in here, so let's get started. So. Alright, so first question is, what's your take on modded havens? 
Um, I don't have any problem with them like existing. Like they can do whatever they want. It's it's cool, right? Uh, they give opportunity to people to make whatever they want with a game. Say like, I like this game, but I want to do something else with it. I think it's pretty. It it's a cool concept, right? Uh, the only problem that I see is that uh people uh they try to free work and they can make a huge profit off of it uh, most of the time they don't even contact us and if they do contact us it's because our item is private and they want to know if they can use it so that's like the only occasion uh we get in sort of contact with any modern haven developers um sometimes uh, i see this happening a lot recently but they just uh they're very rude towards us just because we don't want to land their land their work for them and i don't know man it's just so what do you mean by like they're being rude towards you for not wanting to give them uh your work so like are they just treating you like crap for saying no pretty much it didn't happen specifically to me because uh most of my stuff is private and i don't engage in a lot of modern haven servers right but I see that the people that do, they get uh, some sort of, some degree of harassment. Like yesterday, would uh, people were sharing some screenshots of uh, I think Modern Haven developers saying Submers have have hit a new low. Uh, they're complaining about we using their items, etc., etc. Like, yeah, you don't have the right to use our stuff, right? It's... I mean, yeah, you don't. Like, if someone asks and, you know, let's say I asked you for one of your items and you said, yeah, like, that's fine then, right? But if you're yeah. going to say no, dude, you got to respect that. Like, it's not your work that you could just say, oh, well, I don't care what your response is. I'm just going to use it anyways. And if you don't, I'm going to give you shit for it. That's not how it works, dude. Yeah. Um, um what, uh, shit, I forgot what I mean, what I was going to say. Yeah, I forgot. All right. What do you feel is a necessity? Uh, oh, jeez, I cannot talk. What do you feel is a necessity to making a good modded haven? Um, to make a good modded haven, I think it's just like the the do's being, and don'ts, like in terms of being like a dove. Just be a good person. Get consent from people that make the items, like. Uh, it's free. We make free. Uh, we're doing this for free work. Like we don't get paid for to make items, but you gotta respect that at least we make them for a game. Uh, you can't just say, "Oh, my game is has works the same way. I can just take it." That's that's not how it works, right? Yeah. Um, I think the the only the only way to be a good Modern Haven developer is to just respect someone's decision to lend you something or not. And if you notice that people don't want to lend you stuff, try to, I don't know, get uh, your community to build stuff for you. Or maybe try to learn building. It's it's not that hard. It's it's pretty fun, actually. I don't know. It's not that, that difficult to be a good person. What's your take on modded devs stealing subs just directly without, like asking permission just yoinking them from like assets and like data mining and stuff what's your opinion on that uh you mean like the recent uncopy lock of miners even right even that like just stealing subs in general like not even asking permission even uh data mining can go under that i guess too mm, yeah um it's scummy like j just grow up just notice that people don't want to give you stuff you don't have to go steal them we know you want to make a a buck real real good but like you can just ask us it's it's not that hard if we decline we decline but it's not right to just go and steal stuff all right um do you think modded havens like Time Machine, MH Plus, MH Infinity, all all these modern events, do you think they should just get taken down and the whole open source thing should just be cancelled? Or do you think... Like, what's your take on that? Uh, I think they only should be taken down if they break TOS, like using something that was not publicized. 
uh, for example, using the current reincarnation map, which was uh, released on the uncopy lock. If you get something from open source, I don't have any problem with you doing stuff with it. I only see the problem being if you actually break break rules and get something without consent. All right. Um, do you support uh, submitters helping these modern Haven devs if it's done right and with permission and all that? Well, I can't. Uh, I can't really stop anyone from helping a modern Haven developer if they want to. They they can just do it. Their their choice, right? Um, I wouldn't help them personally just because the vast majority of them don't don't care about us. They just see us as like a free source of stuff we can add on our game to make profit. They don't see us as uh, like people and stuff. So I wouldn't help them personally, but if you want to make items for them or lend them free items, that's your choice. And uh, I respect that. Last thing is, how do you feel about the recent bot selling uh, items, like, in mass? Uh, I got sent a screenshot, I think it was from Tarasu, and it was him talking about... It was just this screenshot of some alt that was made to look like Joseph, uh, his account, and it just says, sold third sacrifice item. Uh, it just selling tons of these items uh combo of abominations minor saving submission uh industrial industrial helium device you know there's just so many items in that list I i'll even send you the screenshot here it's... oh i think i know what you mean uh Check the bots screen. made to uh look for published models and yeah that um so it came to our attention that people started making bots that mock submitters and the bots purpose is to just scavenge uh, submitter well submitter slash builders in general I guess uh, inventories and just take whatever the fuck they can find for free that's uh, actually trash yeah in my opinion you should just go fuck yourself if you do that but if you have that much time to just make a bot you should have a, a well much more time to just either ask someone if you can do you can do stuff or just learn. Yes, like just literally just learn how to build, bro. Like you're doing everything just to stray away from learning how to build. Submissions. Yeah. Alrighty, uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to know from you, nerdy. I'm probably gonna go on to uh, kind of pog. So thank you, dude. All right, kind of pog, you there? Yes, I'm chilling. All right, bro. So, what's your take on modded havens in general? I mean, if I don't care what they do if they're following the guidelines, because when Bereza he put the open source out, it was to help people try and inspire to become an upcoming dev. Which that's it's honestly great that he did that because it really did inspire some people. But it, it also kind of put people in the position of whether or not they want to invest in it or not. Because if you're going to do it and try and become a dev and then sit and just kind of like half-ass it, be like, oh, I don't want to build it and just take it, then what's the point? Because you're, you're, at that point, you're not there to become a developer. You're just there for the quick cash grab. I, yeah. I see that too. It's... uh. There were there were a lot of like backlash against MH plus in terms of uh, the the old beef it had because there was a lot of drama. There was oh my god, Mary. Uh, there was a lot of drama going on back then. I don't know if you remember all the MH plus drama. And then there was the uh, everyone. I know a lot of people in MHG got ticked off by the game pass that went on sale for MH plus. Yeah. Uh, it's like. I, I don't have, like, coming from a modded haven dev myself, I don't use game passes. Uh, I found alternatives to game passes. Like, the game passes in my game, you just earn them by playing and stuff, you know? Uh, yeah. I, I don't, I, I think it's neat that these games, you know, I, I, I could see people wanting to make a quick buck, like, dude, it's Roblox, there's nothing you could do against that, but the fact we all know that it's not going to work 
like majority of the time it's just abuse at that point towards people like submitters like if they steal an item trying to make a quick buck off of it it's basically just violating the submitters at that point because you you know you're not going to succeed at what you're doing if you're stealing shit you're you're not going to get away with it dude yeah and I, I think it's wrong but um what do you feel is a necessity to making a good modded haven like the do's and don'ts coming from like what you'd say is a good developer standpoint well it's just to follow the like the guideline that was put out when the open source was put out it was just to help people trying to like to make something similar not just like completely take everything uh like point to point because like i understand like uh if you're gonna do it you want to experiment with it and like play around but it doesn't really give you the right to just uh here give me one second sorry if you want someone else to kind of take over, just give me. Sorry about that. Uh, so, what's your take on modded Haven devs stealing uh, subs? Like, without I'm talking like without even asking for permission and getting like rejected. So, like, let's say, let's say I'm one of those devs, you know, that we're using it as a, as a, an example, right? And I ask you. Mm -hmm could I use one of your items in my game? And you say no. And then I just go ahead and steal it. Like, what's your take on those people that do that? Well, obviously, no is a no. You can't really, you can't be like, oh, well, I mean, it could have been like, no for this. And no is no. Like, you can't really say anything around that. And if you're going to just take it, that just means you, you, even though you asked, like, you can't try and justify yourself. You know? Yeah. It's still, it's just still really messed up. Cause at at that point, you know they didn't want you to take it. If you didn't ask, you would it could have been a yes or a no. But seeing how you got a response and you still went against it, it just makes it even worse. Uh, I mean, I I don't support people just directly stealing crap in general, you know, but. I mean, obviously, we can't, like, fully prevent it. Like, we can't just be like, oh, don't steal shit and it's gonna work, but... Yeah. When when you get caught, you get caught, but there should be some action being taken, and it hasn't yet. And I think that's wrong. Uh, do you well, support... <laughs> oh, what's up? Well, from, like, personal experience, uh, there was one that had taken, like, probably five things... And I went into their Discord to ask them about it. I was like, hey, you know, you could have at least asked. And most of these developers, they'll jump to, uh, well, it was, you didn't have it privated. I could take the model for free. Which, like, I that sometimes happens because Foxy isn't always going to be able to instantly take a model the moment you send it to them. And some people just kind of forget about it. But, like... That's one reason, or that's one thing, but when you know, like, you have something off sale, or your inventory is privated, and you know for a fact that they, that they didn't just take the model, and they had to data mine it, it just shows they went the extra mile to get your item specifically into their game. You know? Yeah, yeah I, I feel that, dude. Um, I, I've never been a fan of, like, data mining and shit. It's just wrong in general, too. Uh, yeah. do you support, do you support submitters helping these modern haven devs if it's done right with, uh, like, permission and all that? Like, let's say they do accept, like, yeah, I'll give you these items, then, like, do you support that? Yeah, oh, I do, because they're at least asking and they're following the guidelines, we have multiple people in our in Miner's Haven Genesis that like that have their own little Miner's Haven and they go around asking like, hey, could I use this item? And some people they're like, yes, and some others are like, no, and they respect that because they're a part of the community they're in, we're in. Like they even submit items to themselves. And I'm in multiple of their discords and they request items that could be made so they don't have to take the item. 
for example, uh, they didn't they don't have the void drive model, correct? And they just asked their Discord to be like, hey, can anyone kind of make a void drive for me? Like, don't be exactly the same model, but like just give me something to work with. And if they get it, they get it from someone. If they don't, then they build it themselves, you know? Which that is completely respectable for in my eyes. Well, I, I get that. And uh, the last thing I want to ask you is, how do you feel about uh, bots selling these items like in mass? Uh, if you don't have the screenshot, I could send it to you. Um, but oh no, I've I've had it happen to me before. So for real? With the whole yeah, the Joseph he's gone in like fifteen in like a matter of a minute. Uh, it does really. It, it's even worse than just taking the item because like even when you try to prevent it you can't beat a bot like there are bots in so many things uh you just if it's programmed to instantly take it we can't even like put it on sale for foxy to take because foxy's not going to be faster than a bot so it's like i don't know it's just if you're going to take the step to try and get a bot for using it it's just why even try at that point it's you have no point in becoming the dev if you're gonna go that low you know nah it's it's honestly absurd like how low i've seen some people go uh yeah. i i i get you know it's not always up to the developer sometimes you know they feel pressured into doing shit and like that's one thing but like at least be open and honest about it but i never see people saying that it's like oh yeah they're like oh yeah i gotta provide content for my community and it's like well so does miner saving and they don't seem to be doing this do they yeah like they don't they don't seem to uh they don't like foxy doesn't seem to be going and stealing like miners or like ma uh, x subs or anything you know what i mean like ev yeah. everyone's in their own place except these modded haven devs sometimes and i think that that's wrong uh i i get a lot of i i get it's roblox and you know there's not too many people like you know 15 plus that want to devote their you know life into this game but dude it, it if, if you want to learn then learn don't just go steal other people's work just to make a quick buck and then quit like a month later because you're already running out of shit to do yeah like you have to have dedication if you want to learn to do something like that it, it, there's no other excuse for it but it's mm -hmm. it's something we really can't control to some extent but i do my best to report you know those games when i find them i've sent a few to burr and i think one got taken down so that's always good yeah uh, yeah. Um, thanks, though, uh, kind of Pog, for giving me your input. If anyone else wants to go, let me know real quick. Just add right. base permissions to him, by the way, yeah, so yeah, he doesn't yeah. die. We did. All right, so uh, now we got uh, Kwame. Uh, he's going to answer a few questions, and then I think we have a few others that want to wanna come in here and uh, give their opinions. So, um, <laughs> All right, you ready? Yes. All right, so what's your take on like modded havens just in general? Uh, okay, so modded havens are like, it's kind of weird for me because uh, they don't live rent free in my head. It's just like they're just there and they're just a new, like, they're just a nuisance. No, no, nothing that bad. All right, all right. Um, what do you feel is like a necessity, like the do's and don'ts to making like a good, legitimate modded haven that like really it uses the open source the way it, it was intended to uh i feel like a good modded a good modded haven should just have what the open source uses and anything like they want like if they want like a, like superstitious or something like that like they should go to the creator and ask them for it they shouldn't just like data mine it or they shouldn't just like start trading like what food sky does all right all right i i i definitely get that because uh i i've had some uh shit like that too um go on with even my modded haven itself like 
you guys might know Time Machine. Uh, there's been some shit with uh, going on with that. Uh, I'm not gonna bring it up in the video, but it, there's just been a lot of stuff going on with that. So we've been uh, trying to take care of that, and it's like, dude, it's so much more annoying that everyone like. If I wasn't, you know, working on all this, and someone tried to steal something from you guys, let's just say, I probably wouldn't have thought too much of it, but, like, coming from someone who's had stuff like that stolen, it's just like, dude, it's horrible. Like, I get what you guys are going through, and it sucks. Um, what's your take on modded Haven devs stealing subs? Like, they get permission, and it's a rejection? Um... And did they just go to steal it? Or they don't even ask and they just steal it anyways? Okay, so... So, basically, if you ask me for, like, a sub, most of the times I'm just gonna say yes because I I'm, I have pride in my work. But if the person tells you no, respect that person's decision. They don't want you to have their work. Like, it's just it's just common sense. If somebody tells you no... No means no. Don't try to rebel over that. If you steal after they say no, you're a dumb, dumb poopy head. Now, if you don't even ask, you just steal it without them knowing. It's worse. It's kind of worse, kind of not. Because it's just like, you're just, you're, just, you're just blankly stealing. You're just taking their work. And you're not even asking for them. Uh, if, you don't give, if, you don't even, if, if you don't even give credit... That's that's also kind of a of a poo head move. So I mean, and all necessary. If you still steal the island, if you still steal, you're 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 done. You, I'm sorry, it is what it is. And from what I've heard, isn't it true that like no action has really been taken against them? Like they're pretty much getting away with it too. About dang near zero action for real. Like I cannot tell you. I I. There's so many times that Foxy has said where op like where modded havens have just blatantly just disre like dis disregarded like the Roblox TOS and when Miner's Haven got uncopy logged, that was another thing too that they just had a whole bunch of items, like a whole bunch of models, and it was just like we couldn't do anything with them. Like we can't we can't do anything. Like, you finna go, like, wait, what? I, I, nah, I just said I get what you mean. Yeah, and, like, what's gonna call it? And, like, once, like, like it, it's, it's so, it's so infuriating, like, it's so infuriating when somebody, like, just takes hours upon, like, hours of work from you that we just, we, we also don't, we don't get, we don't get paid. We don't get paid. But, like, when someone just takes hours of work from you, and you just can't do anything because you can't go to Roblox. You finna text, you finna email Roblox like, "Oh yeah, they took my item." Roblox ain't gonna get back to you. They don't even get back to people who get like who get like their users stolen. So like, Roblox not gonna do anything. And like, you just can't tell them to take away like to take away the item because they just not gonna give two cares about you. They just, they, you can be like, "Um, I don't like using my item." They gonna be like, "Oh dang, I didn't ask though." So, like, you really can't do anything about it. Uh, exactly, dude. <laughs> like, it, it sucks that you could only, you know, try your best and it just goes to nowhere. But I, I'm hoping some, uh, like, public recognition of, uh, like, what's going on. You know, everyone starts to realize this shit. Maybe if there's enough people, you know, taking it in a notice, something will work. But that's all I'm trying to do. Um... Do you support submitters that are helping these modded haven devs uh, if it's done like correctly? I mean, if they follow my rules, I I'm, I can't be mad at that. If you follow my rules and you just doing everything all right, then you I right. and no problem there. Do you uh, or how do you feel about bots like selling these items like in mass? Like I know. Uh, Destroy said he had this entire Roblox account that someone made, and it's just a bot that steals like all his subs and stuff and sells them. Yeah, Joseph's stuff. So I'm pretty sure that's the bot. Now, I don't get on why would you like on why would you make a bot? Now, 
like if you make a bot, you're already spending more time like learning how to create the bot, like coding the bot just for a couple of uh, just for a couple of models. Like, bro, what? Do better, man. Just just ask just ask the creator to give you those models. Don't make a bot to just take every model that they publish because then that just gets annoying and like you can't do anything with when there's a bot involved because once like if it's if it's made to take your items as soon as you take like as soon as you like publish them then i mean like you just can't do anything like all you can do is make your items into files and like I don't even know if Foxy even accepts files now, but I mean, it's just, it's just, we can't do anything about bots. All right, man. Well, thank you for uh, shipping in here. Is there any, uh, anything else you uh, want to mention? Uh, Modded Havens, I'm a little uh, disappointed that y'all ain't, y'all, y'all not taking my items. Uh, I feel a little. I, I, I don't I don't like that. Um please steal from me. Uh I give you my permission. Uh love y'all. Alright, dude. Well uh Alright. Alright, so uh now we got Hoshi. We're gonna ask him uh, the same few questions and uh see what he has to say. So what's your take on modded havens, like in general? Um I I fully support modded havens in general when they're used it like the open when the open source is being used in the correct way. That's pretty much it. All right. Um, what do you feel is like the do's and don'ts to you know making like a good, well done, like correct example of uh, a good modded haven? Well, the open source is like a way to give players or like new players a different view on how the the, how the game can be basically played um a good example would be the the minor save and time machine uh i know that you created it and it shows a like a a really well example of how to make a modded haven because what you're doing with the game is providing an experience that other players would probably not be able to experience and going through updates like in the past basically shows what a mod haven should do um i feel like you should never never like don't don't steal subs from other submitters like that it's it's like the same thing when you when when you're taking art reposting it and not crediting crediting the artist let alone just stealing it flat out having bots like um i think joseph stuff so it's brought it up to go into your inventory and steal models from submitters who s- submit to this game really is unnecessary. It just makes it to the point where we have to keep everything private, which we shouldn't have to. And not even that, like bashing on us submitters for not letting you use the item it- itself. I've seen like chats been brought up about us being babies or it's just or it's just saying it's just some stupid sub for a modded hating game never do that toward toward us it just makes you makes the makes to your game the modded haven game just not playable or enjoyable to play with or whatever yeah and that's pretty much it for um, for that part What's your take on devs directly, like, stealing subs? So, like, let's say I was one of those devs, like, the bad example of a modded haven dev, right? And yeah. I asked you for, uh, what's an item you've made? Um, let's, book of knowledge. What right. went below well, Let's say one. that wasn't an open source, and I asked you for book, right? And you said, no, I just want this in miner's haven. And I just go in, like, data mine it out of the game. Or, let's just say, um... I, I just find it, or I don't even ask you. I just directly take it. Like, what's your thoughts on those people that actually do things like that? 
I, I really despise people who do those kind of stuff because one, you're not only ruining the fun of future updates, two, you're also putting yourself like at a lower level toward us. Like, if you data mine something, right, and you, all right, and let, let's use this as an example, Forbidden Tomb. Forbidden Tomb was one of those items that was, was for coming for an upcoming update. Foxy had a plan for it, right? But due to um due, due to somebody um being able to go into my inventory and just taking it out of nowhere, they were able to trade the sub save sub there, forcing the developer of the actual real game itself to push an update with the Forbidden Tube item when it was supposed to be planned for a different update. When you do these kind of stuff, it not only ruins the fun of of like surprises, it ruins um it ruins future plans. And um, it's just disrespectful to um, just bash on on us submitters for not giving you the item itself too. You just add, just ask, and if and if we if we um, if we decline, just deal with it. That's pretty much it. Alrighty. Um, do you think that these modded havens, like all in all, should just be canceled? Like the majority of them and just be wiped or do you think uh there should be some like ruling that goes into that i feel like there should be some ruling there are definitely some good modded haven games out there just like the ones we see so far doesn't give the good example of what the open source what you should really do with the open source again a good example would be minor Haven time machine i feel like that game that modded haven should not be wiped at all because it uses the open source as it should should be used. Alrighty. Um, do you support submitters helping these modded even devs? Like you've helped me uh, if it's done with like the right permissions and stuff. Yeah, of course. If you ask um, for submitter participation, um, some of us would be completely fine with it, as long as like. If we ask for credit, we get the credit we need. Um, if we're if you're respectful about it and everybody knows what's going on with it, then yeah, it, it's fine. If submitters are okay with being a part of these modded havens, as long as it's not doing anything shading like sub trading or um, taking future items um, that were that were planned, and then suddenly have to be forced into the update but to be unobtainable so yeah just it really depends on the submitter um but yeah i do support submitters do helping out with some of the modded havens all right uh the last thing i wanted to ask you is how do you feel about bots selling these items like in mass like the the joseph stuff uh bot just selling probably i think it was like Few hundred items or something just one after another i feel like at that point it's getting a little out of hand um i think it might be going against roblox tos but we all know how roblox handles stuff like that um when we when subs are taken from us when we have to close our inventories when we have to make everything secret really sucks because foxy doesn't take files and Due to that, we have we we're like really vulnerable to when our model is being taken by Foxy himself, because most of the time we have to lock it right after Foxy takes it, and sometimes most of us just don't lock it after. When bots like Joseph's stuff, um, the the bot um, does stuff like that and use it for own like personal gain, that's that's not that's not good at all. Anything like that is not good at all. Dude, well, those are pretty much all the, the questions I felt like asking. Uh, is there anything else you wanted to say uh, regarding the whole Modded Haven shit going on? Um, to all those modded developers, just be respectful. Um, if we decline, it, we, we decline, that's all. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for having me. All right, dude, not always. Uh, anyone else who wants to go, just let me know. Alright, so now we're back with uh, Kyoko, and he's, uh, I think this is the last interview that we're gonna do, um, but I think uh, 
he wanted to, you know, put his input in. So we're going to give him the few questions. So what's your take on, like, modded havens, like, in general? Modded havens on, in general are fine, if, uh, in my opinion. If they're being used in the in the right way that miners haven that modded havens were supposed to be used like for learning or for just um having fun in general but there's uh but there's some points that cross the line of that where well uh, in other interviews p um of course like um like bots taking stuff and like uh, if it just passes the point of no return essentially All right. Um, what do you feel is like the do's and don'ts to making a good modded haven that like uses the open source the way it was intended? The um, like the, the do's is just like respect people's decisions and stuff. Like, um, essentially just asking for permission to to use uh items like, or just. Or or just like um I have, I need to think. Uh or just uh, I can't. Just give me a moment. So the the do's are essentially just uh to, to, to respect people's decisions on doing stuff and to also try to learn while making the modded haven. And the the, the don'ts is just you just don't steal stuff. Um, and like, re respect Vereza's rules, or rather some of the rules, since I disagree with some of them. But th that's essentially all you really need to do. That's really all you need to do to make a good moderated haven. Alrighty. Um... What's your take on modded Haven devs directly like stealing subs or getting their uh, request rejected and then going out and stealing it uh, anyways? I feel like that's just plain wrong in general. They, 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 they shouldn't do that. It's, it's not a good ethic to do it in general just because the, the person already said no. They, they, they didn't give you permission to, to take the item. And and to go out of their way in order to 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 get an item from another game that's like or or rather from or data mining for it or finding it in some person's inventory I feel like that's I I feel like that that crosses the line <laughs> if they didn't give uh, like uh, permission to use the item like at all. Alrighty. Uh, yeah, I think that's fair. There, there needs to be some line drawing. Uh, and I've seen way too many people, you know, cross that line, and it's absurd. But do you mm -hmm. think modded havens like should get canceled, just all in all, and like the open source go private, and modded havens just get taken down, or do you think there should be some like ruling that goes like towards them and make the rules less vague because I, in fact, I forgot to say this, um, so I'm just gonna say this now. When I made Time Machine, the rules were so vague. It was like, you can't, like, there were barely any do's and don'ts. Uh, it just, like... Yeah, <sighs> um, yeah no, I get that. Uh, th th there should definitely be some... Uh, some ruling in between. It's it's way too vague at this point, and people can easily bend the rules to their um to 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 to, to their needs. And the fact that Barreto condones this activity is also a bit disappointing in my book. It's it's I I just don't like it. Yeah. Um. But but I but modded haven shouldn't just be canceled since that would just ruin the point of it in the beginning um i i i feel like that there, there should be more proper ruling but otherwise i i don't think miners uh, modded haven should just be taken down for no for for like um just because this, people are stealing it but there's still some good people out there uh like of uh, people already said this but miners haven time machine 
it's a good example on what a modded haven should do instead of not doing. Dude, I don't know why people keep saying that, dude. It sounds like such an ego thing because I made it. And I'm like, oh. But, uh, I mean, like, it's not biased, so. Yeah, I, I try to stay really unbiased with everything, so. Um, but uh, do you support the submitters that are helping out these modern day event devs, like, if it's done right? Yeah, if it's done right, then I have absolutely no problem with it. Um, I really don't have anything else to say on that situation. <laughs> If it's done right, then it's done right. <laughs> yeah. yeah I, I I agree with that, especially uh, especially like you know if you know the person well, then I guess there's a little bit of extra like yeah I'll I'll help you out kind of thing you know. But oh everything just like minimizes itself. My bad. Mm -hmm. Um. As long as everyone's in agreement, then I'm fine with it. But yeah, in some situations, it really shouldn't be that. But that's fine. Last thing I wanted to ask you is, what what the hell are you doing, Oshi? I just see it <laughs> flush, awkward flush. Uh, how do you feel about bot selling items like in mass? Is... Okay, the. Uh... For me, that's just plain wrong. There's no points in doing that. At that point, you're just petty. Um, there, there's nothing to gain from it either, since for, for some some of Perez's guidelines are strict, but he lets some of them go. And but 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 once you get to the bot part, you, the like the, there there's like no points in it anymore. You 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 shouldn't be doing it in the first place. So like. Uh, I I don't like the idea of bots taking items from people, and well, and if it seeps into the people's into per, into someone else's privacy, like if if they're making another game and it's disturbing their workflow at all, then it's just that's just plain wrong at that point. Alrighty, well, uh, is there anything else? Uh outside of these questions that you want to say like to anyone or about anything um no not really i don't have anything to say all right man. well uh, thank you for your time uh thank you to everyone who's put their time out of their day to do this uh i want to do one thing real quick though all right we're getting uh foxy and in for an interview probably so um i'm going to see if he's gonna join in game because he said he's uh not gonna be using his mic so all right we don't think foxy could do it in game at the moment as uh he's kind of busy but we are gonna just post some screenshots of me asking uh him the questions over dms uh if he gets the chance to respond so um he did tell me to just ask them there and i'll get to them when he can so alrighty um i will uh edit this when I am not tired as hell. So, yeah, see ya, folks.